Here are the top five things that people ask me about this setup. It's actually called the New X Bumblebee, and this is the large version. I have the RC600 on the top because when I had it on the bottom, I kept making mistakes. When my foot reaches up for it, it's definitive. Whereas if I make a mistake on one of these, it's not too bad. I actually use two guitars, those two, and that one is in normal tuning and that is in Dadgad. So that is the Sonic Ache Sonic ABY. So I plug the two in there and I can switch them going in to this. Now the play acoustic actually only has one guitar input jack and it's the play acoustic that gives me the harmonies based off what I'm playing. So that way I can switch over without having to unplug and replug midway through a gig. <laughs> The reason I don't use the instrument ones is because the TC Helicon, if you can just see there, is XLR out. So I've got these little short cables made by Russell. They're nice and flat and you can put them in to the mic one and mic two. This is vocal and this is guitar. The reason why there's no power plug is because I'm actually powering it all through this. This is the Harley Benton Power Plant Power Bank Mark II and it can power this entire rig all of these things, as long as you don't use phantom power. <laughs> because of the size of this board, there's not enough room for a big expression pedal. So this is the Vespress, again, by Sonic Ache. And we're plugged in to the control one, two, or the expression. And this controls the volume of the loops only. It doesn't control the volume of the inputs, just the volume of the loops. And therefore, I can control them or drop them out creatively when I want to. <laughs> The other question I get asked all the time is how do I know so much about the RC600? Well, I spent quite a long time on it and I actually learned every element of it. So much so that I made a course. And if you're interested in that, we have over 55 videos going from setting this up really basic to some really advanced setups. And that course is in the link in the description if you wanna go and check it out. Put the word subscribe in the checkout for a little discount. <laughs> Now I haven't had this question yet, but I know I'm gonna get it, which is what are these? These are pedal toppers made by Stadium Audio and they're fantastic because they're exactly the same size as the RC300 pedal and cantilevered and you can just stick them on, which is great. They're really tough, they're really strong. And if you wanna see more about it, check out this video right here.